be executed at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time in Nashville, Tennessee on Thursday. Billy Irick is under death watch. We're two days away from his execution that is set for Thursday. That means he is now in a cell closer to the execution chamber. He's under watch 24-7. Irick's lawyers today filed a last-minute appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court to delay the execution. He is set to be put to death once again Thursday evening. Irick raped and murdered seven-year-old Paula Dyer in Knox County in 1985. The Tennessee Supreme Court and Governor Bill Haslam have both denied requests to delay his execution. 10 News reporter Mark Salinger <coughs> spoke with a former Chief Justice of the Tennessee Supreme Court about what Irick's lawyers can still do to stop his death. Mark. Robin and John, it's been nearly a decade since the last person was put to death in Tennessee. On Thursday, that'll likely change. If there's anyone who knows what it takes to put someone to death, it's Justice Gary Wade. There were four executions during my term in office, and each and every one uh, caused, caused a great deal of, of uh, pain and agony. Wade is the former Chief Justice of the Tennessee Supreme Court and current Dean of the LMU Law School. He says he's not surprised both Governor Haslam and the state Supreme Court have declined to intervene in the execution of Billy Ray Irick. While I perfectly understand uh, the reluctance, uh, particularly with uh, the history of mental illness on the part of Mr. Irick, uh, that issue has been resolved time and again. A jury convicted Irick in 1986 of the rape and murder of seven-year-old Paula Dyer in Knox County. 32 years later, his lawyers have exhausted all of his appeals. Barring intervention from the United States Supreme Court, he will die on Thursday. The United States Supreme Court has uh, said that mental illness is not an obstacle to execution so long as the individual understands that there is a relationship between the crime committed and the punishment administered. Wade acknowledges the struggles justices face in letting an execution go forward. Moral opposition is one thing, but we are sworn to uphold the law above all else, and that sometimes means uh, setting a, aside our own sense of propriety, our own sense of morality. And there are also two more inmates who sit on death row in Tennessee and have exhausted all of their appeals in both state and federal court. Robin and John. Mark, thank you very much. Irick is housed at the Riverbend Maximum Security Institute in Nashville. That is where he will die. His execution is set for 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Time Thursday night. And 10 News will have a witness to the execution, and we will bring you live team coverage throughout the night. You can read more about his crime and hear from the victim's mother at WBIR.com.